Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. I have a question from Jen, so I'll read it to you here. She says, my boyfriend told me I'm way too nice and he's so bored. I do everything for him because I love him so much. Why doesn't he seem to appreciate it and what am I doing wrong? He seems to be pulling away and I'm not sure if this is going to work out. Well, Jen, a lot of times when you're so into a relationship, you can be there too much. You can be in their face where they just need a little bit of room to breathe. You said, I love him so much, and maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe you're just doing everything to please him. This becomes very one-sided. You think you're doing all the right stuff because you love him and you're showing him that. But sometimes we just need to pull back a little bit. You also need to respect your own time and the things that you want to do in your own life. So if you're doing things that make you happy, you take a little bit of time away from each other. And then when you come back into the relationship each day, you have things to talk about. You have things that make you happy that aren't always about them. That's a lot of pressure to put on somebody when you make your whole life that particular person. He also wants you to have a voice where you say what you want to do. If you're going to go out and do something, that you have some input on what you guys are going to plan, where you're going to go, all those sort of things that go into a relationship. And that's what keeps it interesting. If he says, oh, let's go here, and every single time you go, yeah, I don't care. What do you want to do? Sure, I'll do anything you want to do. It drives people crazy because you're not being true to yourself. You're being true to what he wants. And that's a lot of energy put into somebody and it makes people feel uncomfortable when they're sort of on that pedestal because basically that's what you're doing. You've put him on a pedestal. And so when that happens, it makes him feel so just crowded and it's a, it's a suffocation of sorts without you intending it to be. You really need to have your own life, your own personal goals, and you need to have some boundaries. Make him want to see you, like when you do have time apart during the day, that he wants to see you because you're interesting to be around. You're not just putting him always in the forefront. You're thinking about yourself and you're respecting yourself. So I think part of the problem here is he doesn't feel that it's a real equal partnership because he can't do anything wrong. You think he's wonderful, Mr. Wonderful, and so, the reason he's bored is because he doesn't feel anything is exciting in the relationship because he can have whatever he wants. He can do whatever he wants. So if you want to save your relationship here, start doing things for you. Make yourself interesting to him, that you've got stuff that you want to do, you want to obtain. And it's not just about what makes him happy. He doesn't want to be in charge of your life. He wants you to be in charge of your life. So just change things up a little bit here. You can still be a loving girlfriend, which is wonderful, but you need to also have respect for yourself and make things about you as well, because it actually adds to the relationship. When you both come back in and start talking about what you did or what goals you got for the future, it's something that is exciting that you can do together or you can do separate and then just get enjoyment out of watching each other excel. So change that up a bit, okay? Don't always be so accommodating about everything. Thanks for writing, Jen. Hope that helps you. And uh, let me know what goes on here. I, I hope that you can make things better between the two of you. And thanks for writing, because it, it is a good question. I think sometimes we just don't get it that we put our partners on this, this sort of throne. And it's okay for a while, but then people start to get a little bit uncomfortable with how lopsided the relationship has become. So thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe to my channel here, like the video, and leave your comments. I love hearing from you. Thanks. Bye-bye.